Hey, so last night I finally finished Legion season two. I know it was like only a day later, but I finally got to watch the finale and pff, it blew my mind. Um, here's my review and it's going to contain spoilers, guys. Um, so just make sure if you haven't watched it yet, you pause this video and come back after you have. I'm Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. I haven't really done any videos about Legion yet. I've discussed Legion a lot in my live YouTubes, which I do on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but um, I just, I had to review this for you guys. The entire episode from start to finish was like phenomenal. Now I have to admit, Legion is probably one of my top Marvel shows. Um, Cloak and Dagger took over the reins of the top. Cloak and Dagger right now is probably my ultimate favorite Marvel TV show. Um, but Legion, boy, it is up there. And I have loved it from the very, very, very beginning. Um, I was hooked instantly um, as a as a Marvel comic book fan, but also just as a fan of like crazy shows that like mess with your mind. Um, I loved it. Everything about it. I'm kind of obsessed with David Holler and like I really can't believe that that actor Dan Stevens is the same actor who plays the Beast in the live action Beauty and the Beast. Like that dude can sing, you know? Um, it's just crazy because he's so different. It, it proves how amazing an actor he really, really, truly is. That opening scene where you see David just heading off to battle singing, that was amazing. And then you see the Shadow King coming from the other side, amazing. Both of them floating off the ground. And then you see them battling on the Astro Plane, which is all I can really imagine that was. Um, which if you're, um, if you read the comics, you know, um, he battles a lot psychically on the Astro Plane, especially there was a huge battle between the Shadow King and uh, David Holler's father, who is, um, Professor X, right? Uh, which is amazing. I don't know if everybody knows that. If you haven't read the comics, you wouldn't know that possibly. And um, I love that throughout the series, they hinted a few times. Like they, I think he called him an X-Man once and he, um, showed his, wheelchair. I think it had the X in it, if I recall. I believe that was in the first season, but um, just all these hints at the comics throughout the whole thing have been amazing and just absolutely incredible. But last night, watching that major battle between Shadow King and David Hall, our Legion, and just their characters behind them with the music playing uh, was amazing. And it was beautiful to watch. I I'm not even joking, guys. We watched it, my husband and I. And at the part where they stopped their battle, we we backed it up and watched it again because that part was just so phenomenal. It was just phenomenal. It was breathtaking. It was stunning. It was so visual. And it's exactly as I read the comics when I imagine them battling on the astro plane. That is, that is what I imagine. And they just are standing there looking at each other. But they're really actually battling. And all this stuff is going on because they're battling, you know, inside their heads. It's just, it's incredible. And Aubrey Plaza, who plays Lenny, is fantastic as well. Um, I absolutely love Lenny. She's been one of my favorite characters from the very beginning. I'm so glad we got to see so much of her and learn a lot more about her, honestly, um, in this season. And it all came to a head here at the end. And um, I'm I'm really glad with how they're make where they're bringing her character. The whole thing with Sid, like. Clearly, Sid is the reason that David is like has snapped, right? And he's going to become Legion. And I think it's really interesting. Um, my husband said a few episodes ago, a while back, when we were first introduced to Future Sid, and they're saying, I don't really know what made David crack, right? He's the one they knew he destroyed the future. And he's like, it was probably Sid. Like, she probably did something to him. And I think it kind of shows that um, no matter which path you take, um, it tends to be that the future is written, right? So they said, go back and find Shadow King's body, help him find his body. And then hopefully, right, David won't go crazy. Um, or at least the Shadow King will be there to um, kill David if necessary. But it seems like David is just so, so powerful. I don't think the Shadow King really stands a chance against him. I really don't. I don't think he stands a chance whatsoever at him. Um which I'm really excited to see. Hopefully we can see another battle between them again in the future. Um, I really love how they ended this episode, right? With David, they were all against David, right? They, we want to help you. We're going to drug you up and put you back in the psych ward. And David's like, no, you're not. I'm not dealing with that again. I've already dealt with it. I broke out. I'm not doing that again. Are you crazy? Um, and when he broke out of that force field, it was so incredible. I, I pretty much jumped out of my seat and I was like, yes, go David. 
Um, huge David Holler fan, huge Legion fan. So uh, that was amazing to see. And then when he breaks into Lenny's room, or really goes into Lenny's room, and um, just breaks her out and says, let's, let's go. And she's like, what about Blondie? And he's like, there ain't no Blondie anymore. That was so awesome. I was like, good, like, screw you, Sid. I was so mad at her for turning her back on him. He loves her. He really loves her. And she just messed with him. She's the one who created him, right? She's the one who created Legion. That's what I say. I adored seeing Jermaine Clement be such a major part of this um, season. He's absolutely one of my favorite actors. What we do in the shadows with him and Taika, I mean, it's brilliant. And Rise Darby, they, these people are brilliant. Um, so I was really excited to see him be a major, major part um, have the Shadow King inside him for half of this season, most of this season. Um, it was just amazing seeing him. And I kind of love that him and Melanie like ended up in his little ice um, thing. And they said, who cares about our bodies? They're somewhere. They're hiding. They're safe. Um, I was happy to see them together. I kind of really liked how that, um, you know, they started off with them like, oh, well, after the battle, they had them go, oh, well, three years ago. And they were talking about it. And this is what happened. And they can't remember things. He's like, it's been a lot of or we were losing a lot of hair. And she was like, no time, not hair. Um, I thought that was really fun and interesting. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing them together. But I wonder if they're getting kind of sick of each other. Like, they seemed like they were, like, getting bored in there. And they were saying how they miss their friends. So I'm interested to see where things go with them in Season 3. Um, I hope maybe we see them come out and go back to their physical bodies. Um, I'm not sure about Oliver, though, because his body was pretty messed up, thanks to David. But maybe it's had time to heal after all these years. I don't know. I loved Carrie and Carrie this season. Um, I loved seeing Carrie outside of Carrie a lot this season. That was really awesome and really interesting to see um, her just really kick ass. She was amazing. Um, huge fan of hers. Excited to see where things go with her in the future, too. Um, but I really want to know what happens with Sid because... They did mention um, Melanie and Oliver said, you know, it was really sad what happened to Sid um, after the betrayal. So I'm trying to figure out if they mean when David betrayed her by like trying to make her um, forget that she was like pissed at him. Right. And realized he's the bad one, which obviously the Shadow King just messed with her head. Right. Shadow King was inside Melanie at that point. I'm wondering if that's somehow she lost her arm. I mean, she obviously loses her arm in that one future timeline. I'd be interested to see if next season we see her end up losing her arm somehow. Um, you know, she's got the power of touch and she takes over people. Maybe she gets like really pissed and cuts it off. Maybe David cuts it off so she can't touch people. I'm not really sure. I mean, she'd still be able to touch people with her other hand, but uh, I'm curious how, if that's going to happen and uh, how it will if it does. In season three, I think we're going to see David just get even more badass than he already is. I'm really hoping he's going to start sucking up people and um, like he does in the comic books, right? And having them inside him. Um, I'm not 100% sure they would go that route. They kind of made us think like the entire season one as a comic book fan. I was like, does he just have all these people in his head? Like, is this all? Is he nuts? I mean, I suppose still, honestly, at the end of this series, they could be like, oh, here he is in the mental ward and he's just playing all this stuff out in his head. It's very possible. Um, but I really want to see him suck someone up in his head and like leave him in there. I really, really want to see that. Um, we saw a little bit of like the consciousnesses being updated or uploaded at Division 3. Um so maybe somehow David will get mixed up with that and they'll get uploaded in his head. I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like that could possibly happen. Either way, I'm ecstatic for season three. David's going to be more badass, 100%. Um, I'm excited to see more battles and more fights. I'm really excited to see where things go with him and Lenny. Um, she kind of loves him, but she's also like a lesbian. So I'm curious where that's going to go. Like, does she love him? Like, love him like that? I'm also really excited to hopefully, fingers crossed, see more of David's sister. Lenny at this point has taken over her body, but she's still inside her head, right? She's still a consciousness inside of Lenny's head. So I'm really interested to see where all of this goes. Basically, season two left me wanting more, 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 more. It was phenomenal. It was visually stunning. I really hope that we'll get a longer episode season Please, I need more episodes. I can't, I can't handle this. I need like a solid 22 episodes of Legion. Um, <laughs> it's so good. It's just amazing. If you haven't already watched it, I've given you some spoilers, but not that many. It's still totally worth watching from the very beginning, first episode of Legion, season one. Do it. You will not regret it, guys. If you're a comic book fan, awesome. If you're a fan of Legion, it's amazing. Uh, if you're not a comic book fan, but you just like shows like this, you will love it. It's so 
Good. One of the best shows on television right now. Well, I hope you agree with what I said. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought of the Legion season finale. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.